Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you all again to another episode of GPL Capital's webinar on CEO Talks. Our topic for today's episode is the impact on financial services after lockdown. Our speakers for are Mr. Sanjay Agarwal, Mr. Saurabh Modi, Mr. Vivek Gupta, and Mr. Pushkaraj Kanatkar. Pleasure to have you all, sir. Our first speaker for today, Mr. Sanjay Agarwal, is the MD and CEO of AU Small Finance Bank and is the man behind the success of the company. He is a gold medalist, chartered accountant, and a first-generation entrepreneur who led the AU team and shaped the progressive journey of AU. His journey started 20 years ago when he founded AU Financers, which is now AU Small Finance Bank and a scheduled commercial bank and a Fortune India 500 company. Thank you for giving us your valuable time, sir. Our second speaker for today is Mr. Saurabh Modi, Chairman of the Nirja Modi Group of Schools. Our third speaker, Mr. Vivek Gupta, CMD of GPL Capital, who has over 25 years of experience in the field of financial services. And our fourth speaker for today is Mr. Pushkaraj Kanatkar, VP Equities of GPL Capital, having over 15 years of experience in the field of Indian equities. Thank you for joining us all today. I now hand it over to Mr. Pushkaraj Kanatkar, VP Equities capital. Over to you, Pushkarat, sir. Thank you, Forum. Good evening, everybody. We will start with a quick uh, roundup of uh, how the things are kind of uh, looking through. And uh, starting with, let us see. I'll just share my screen for you. Mishraj, you, you want to do this later? There should be yeah. uh, this, uh, talk to yeah. Sanjay first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, quick first, can we do it a little later? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I, want to know, I want to know what is Sanjay drinking? Sorry, I am with my green tea. You are? <laughs> uh, Sanjay, hi. Uh, this is Vivek, you know. Well, I don't know what you are drinking. What is this? Is, is it really a green tea? Gold <laughs> <laughs> <Your> color. <laughs> <laughs> Sanjay, hi, this is Vivek. You know, I just wanted to ask you, like, you're a first generation entrepreneur, right? And you've built this successful business. Just take us through this journey of how you built this brand AU. Okay, how did you start it? How did you scale it up? Okay, uh, what were the challenges that you faced? Some of the lessons also that you learned and you like to share with us. We'd love to hear from you. You have all the time. You have all the time as you can, you know, Boss, all the time. Guys are open. We are all closed. <laughs> you are the one who's busy. Yeah, and uh, I hope uh, we all are Indian here, right? So, Hindi mix chalega, right? Bilkul. Yes. Okay. Great, great, great. So, you know, uh, thank you for this uh, this uh, time and, of course, acknowledgement. Uh, thanks, Aurabhai. Thanks, uh, Vivek, right? Uh, yeah. My pleasure to be here. So, uh, as you know, uh, I'm from Jaipur, born in Jaipur, uh, 70 born uh, in my uh, dad's of government, uh, a government class uh, family, you know, uh, dad is engineer, so I'm, I'm the eldest son. So naturally, I would have become engineer, but uh, mathematics, me ko interest in itha. the interest was only scoring runs. So till 90, from 70 to 90, good 20 years, I only played cricket. So actually, uh, we had a lot of discussion around cricket, but <laughs> 78 to 90, practically for 20 years, I represented school, college, district, then of course, Rajasthan under 19. But in uh, 90 end, Bapu ne pucha, ab kya? You know, so because being in the government uh, servant, Son, you know, uh, you need to figure out your own career. You know, there was no capital, there was no knowledge, there was no business. So, so the eventual goal would be ki bhaiya, uh, try for civil service, try for some here and there job. But I chose the other way and uh, said, Papa ki, why can't I try chart accountancy, right? And in those days also, chart accountancy uh, was not easy actually. I, I think it's not easy till now, but uh, somehow again the the interest in calculation, you know, the interest in maths, interest in, not in maths, in terms of uh, ki karenge, you know, so in term, and then I started doing chart accountancy course and finally completed in the year 95. So, so I only concentrated on my studies because it was for me 
डू एंड आई बिकॉज आई इफ आई डोंट सक्सीड करूंगा क्या सो बाबू फिर बाबू बनूंगा ऑनेस्टली सो बट 95 passed out and then again on a on a crossroad figuring out what to do now whether do my uh, ca firm whether become partner in some ca firm do some job of lala do jo- some job at uh, multinational what 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 because as a chartered accountant you always have a lot of options actually right but uh, figured out very quickly in maybe 2 3 months after my Uh, course that you know i'm not a guy who will do job and uh, two three things i figured out very early in my career ki chartered accountant job is little bit of uh, the 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 broker come you know come uh, less knowledge more broker or more kind <laughs> of you know audit negative role honestly you know so i thought ki yaar ye kaam karunga to zindagi mein negative hi rahunga because throughout your सीए कोर्स आई वुड हैव डन हंड्रेड्स ऑफ ऑडिट तो जितना ऑडिट में मैं कमियां निकालते थे बॉस उतनी तारीफ करता था सो सो यू विल प्राइस द नेगेटिविज्म राइट सो दैट आई थॉट ये नहीं करने वाला सो आई टुक अ वेरी एडवेंचरस रूट यू नो एंबिशियस रूट की लेट मी स्टार्ट माय ओन बट आई विल नॉट डू सीए प्रैक्टिस आई विल नॉट डू एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ कंसल्टेशन रादर आई विल डू माय समथिंग अराउंड लेंडिंग and lending ka bhi kaise shock laga it is very an incident where i myself bought a motorcycle in 95 and paise to hote nahi the us waqt 30000 ki aati thi motorcycle so i got it financed from sbi and that that vehicle was in the matlab mere naam se bhi finance nahi ho raha tha us waqt so i got my mosa ji who was that time a government servant the vehicle was registered in his name and he was that the vehicle was uh, financed so i figured out that there is a lot of opportunity means if, if a chartered accountant is not able to get a finance in 95 then how come a normal guy would be taking the finance so from there i i became some broker of some uh, nbfcs to understand the business ki hota kaise hai ye and 94 was the era of nbfcs you know i don't know how many people are from 95 So it was the era of SRF Finance, Birla Global, Gujarat Lease. एक भी कंपनी नहीं आज वो. लेकिन that was be dominated. The whole retail finance in India was largely dominated by NBFCs of those days. So I become an DSA kind of them and understand ki how the model works. Within one year, I figured out ki I don't want to be again broker. You know, I want to do my own. So actually, I borrowed money from some big HNIs of Jaipur. and it started the company called uh, this au financiers right in 96 and from there onwards it is a journey of you know whatever you can say last 25 years that company has become now a bank right and in that 25 years first 5 6 years was around learning and learnings how to lend how to collect you know how to build product how to build uh, operations how to build team all those things right and then of course i got in, uh, associated with hdfc bank for good 10 years as their partner uh, to do all this kind of lending in the semi urban and rural areas so that partnership gave me lot of learning around how to build a big organization how to have a control aggression risk management so ye word kabhi aap seekh nahi sakte yadi aap local local mein kaam karte rahe to and i think that sangat you know mai hamesha bolta hu ki जैसे ही आपकी संगत है वैसे ही आपका आउटकम होने वाला है लाइफ में सो आई थिंक एच डी एफ सी बैंक गेव मी लॉट ऑफ गुड लर्निंग की बॉस थिंक बिग एग्जीक्यूट राइट हैव ए अमेजिंग कंप्लायंस इन प्लेस जैसे आप बोलते थे क्रेडिट के अंदर कि भैया एम्पायर का डिसीजन फाइनल है यू हैव अ राइट टू प्ले बट रूल्स आर ऑफ एम्पायर डोंट चैलेंज दो रूल्स सो यू कैन डू योर ओन बिजनेस बट यू कैन चैलेंज लॉ आप ये नहीं बोल सकते ये लॉ गलत है सही बना हुआ यू नो तुम्हें पता है ना गेम चालू होने से पहले ये रूल है जस्ट जस्ट कंप्लाई दैट राइट आप यू कैन गो टू द कमिटी से कि रूल चेंज करो बट यू कैन नॉट हैव योर ओन वे टू अमेंड दैट रूल ऑन योर ओन कंफर्ट राइट सो एच डी सी बैंक गेम विद दैट लॉट ऑफ लर्निंग्स एंड ऑफकोर्स देन आई गॉट दी प्राइवेट इक्विटी इन टू थाउजेंड एट एंड नाइन फ्रॉम मिस्टर मोतीलाल ओसवाल यू नो टू रन famous broking from from still today you know which is called the yellow swall brokerage and uh, i think securities so they were, they were my first investor 
then of course world bank and then followed with robert pinker spres and then for 7 8 years i actually became a proper ndfc who used to, who should to borrow from money from various banks and started lending to the real customers or our own customer actually and we were generally doing vehicle finance then doing sba the SME, msme funding the housing funding all those things which were largely in retail and we actually became one of the good names in the country uh, where you know uh, people were very uh, appreciative about our whole operations credit underwriting collections the numbers the roa the compliance the governance and of course in 2015 we applied for the license for the small finance bank we got that license and then uh, in 2017 we became bank so i think it's a journey of uh, the dsa to a partner of a bank to ndfc now a bank right so in last 25 years you know without capital to become a bank you know so that's a whole uh, highlight of the whole journey because ghar se capital ghar se capital aayi nahi thi you know so so because you know dad was uh, is in government job so paisa milta nahi tha ghar se us par but uh, so somehow uh, reached to that level and uh, now of course as a bank you know uh, we can do everything we can raise deposits from public like uh, you you know we can do lending we can do uh, operations we can do anything a normal bank like this you know sb has only 3 4 3 4 uh, different narrative from the universal bank first our name has to be small okay that is why we are known as small finance bank and why small finance because our 50% loan book has to be lesser than 25 lakh so the the announcement you are uh, listening today that you know the msmes and smes yes. are largely with us you know so so i think that piece has to be 50% our priority sector lending the uh, stipulation by rbi that if you take deposit generally 40% money has to go for the priority sector decided by rbi mm-hmm. that limit for us is 75% so that is one thing third i think our our 25% branches are under unbanked uh, unbanked locations where there is no commercial branch so that is a three narrative which rbi uh, set for us in 19, uh, 2017 and we are doing that of course now we are around 18000 people with uh, 12 states with an asset book of 40000 crores deposit base of 24000 crores and uh, of course uh, you know about uh, more about us in terms of we are very profitable as a bank you know uh, we our pat of last year was around 700 crores so in that sense uh, bank is working uh, amazingly well but it's still this bank does not belong to you people honestly because uh, jis rate pe aap paisa lete hain us rate pe to hum aapke fd kar dete hain you know so so we the our model is very simple that you know we'll give you uh, better rates on your deposits you know because if we if we offer you similar rates like hdfc you won't come to us you know so we'll price your money better than them but our market of lending will be also different so and but we we are not in macro finance okay so we are largely largely in secured finance around vehicle home loans msmes smes all those things right so we have close to now 2 million customers and uh, the way we are growing i am hopeful because this platform is such a big platform you know it has immense power you know like for me uh, if you because saurabh bhai hai to Uh, just to tell him that cricket analogy is like test cricket. So NBFC was like uh, you know one day, you know, and the DSA was like T20. <laughs> so from T20 we become we have become a test cricketer now, right? So test cricketer requires a lot of patience, skill. You know, he has to have that endurance of five five day to play. You know, he has to have that that mindset that you know is about cricket abilities. it's not not about only scoring runs or winning matches right it's about whole structure of cricket right so the bank is also like this you know it's about depositors it's, a, it's about borrower it's about regulator it's about people it's, a, it's about social output you know so bank actually serves lot of lot of things 
in terms of addressing to the society you know is a is a is a is a place where you trust absolutely uh, bank kaisi jagah hai sir jahan pe aap khud log apne ghar se zyada trust karte ho well i know our 50 everybody would be having a locker right so aur aap apni jewelry aap apne ghar pe nahi rakhte ho balki mere paas rakhte ho and i do not know why because sir you to admit i said sorry bhai i hope uh, i don't know whether is is out of no 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 sorry bhai ha okay, okay. so uh, so what happened ki aap you know everybody have the locker right i'm just giving one example why you trust i don't know why you people trust bank ki sabke paas locker hote hai sabke paas ghar mein locker hota hai but aapke paas bank mein ek locker hai aur wahan pe aap ja ke apni jewelry rakhte ho important papers rakhte ho and you do not know ki how it, it is secured because hum bhi bank ko raat ko 5 baje baad taala karke ghar chale jate hain we don't we don't deploy rbi there to protect your uh, valuables right but it's a trust which is there between you and us which makes that uh, uh, valuable you know safe in that uh, in environment right so i think the bank is like this right and we are very fortunate that you know in this our lifetime we got the bank license it's not easy it's not easy right and now to operate that and you know win the confidence of people get the trust of people and in this difficult time also uh, vivek bhai you know we come under essential services yes to hamare pure 50 din ke lockdown mein maine ek din bhi office matlab har din office aaya hu main so today also i am coming from i am speaking from my office only so i think that has given us immense feeling that you know we are very valuable in society correct so so i, I mean truly an amazing story so the whole thing has been built to do it all it's about learning of my life so the learning biggest learning i got in my life that be compliant be compliant okay. be compliant you know in spite of this that india does not inspire you to be compliant hmm. you know the whole system the whole environment does not inspire you ki aap imandar raho but but aapko rehna padega because you know i would have raised around 20000 crores of money from public institutions without collateral from 2003 to 2015 there were collateral nahi thi but they gave me money because my compliance was right in as a bank also we are able to raise 24000 crores from depositors right so to get a success you need to get a compliant compliance to hona matlab it should be by choice not by design ki mujhe to aise rehna hai right i think because that's my biggest learning in my life ki us pe aap choice nahi le sakte matlab usko chance nahi le sakte second the biggest learning would be ki to have lot of patience build long inning you know uh, go for long inning you know ki mujhe to jana hai to out out nahi hona hai time you know and i will i will wait for my time if pitch is not right i will you know uh, will preserve my wicket you know be there you know i will only hit loose balls i will build myself you know so and kitni bhi awaaz aayegi ground mein but mera focus hi rahega right i think that uh, that was a really uh, good for me to otherwise i would have lost in so much of noise in the country jaise 2003 mein land was such a booming खरीदे and of course third i think you have to actually enjoy your game you know it should not be forceful you know you should love to play your inning ki mujhe maza aata hai khelne mein you know and i i want to really build this inning so i think uh, i really loved my career as a financer then a, as a banker and that makes me here you know day in day out ki main aaun aur apni inning build karu and i really love this job actually so so i think there are three basic learning i got my whole as the bahut sari hai 
but these three things were top of the line, right? Which makes me happy. And <coughs> Sanjay, here. I, I'm here. Sanjay, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. There was a technical glitch. Maybe I'll play in the inning. Correct, correct. Uh, yeah. 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 No, so uh, sort of uh, economy uh, is in is in bad shape because the whole continuity has been broken, and you know, uh, of course, to just to say that we will get locked down from tomorrow morning is easy, but to assess that you know, if if you don't work for 40, 45 days, you know, what type of disruption? Will come in system, in supply chains, in continuity, in in earnings, you know. So and whole world, Sarabhai has been designed around consumers. Up airport jate, you need 24 into 7. Up restaurant 24 into 7. Uber, Ola 24 into 7. Aajkal the mall 24 into 7. Internet 24 into 7. So the life. In last 20, 25 years, has moved from eight hours to 24 hours, and suddenly you say we lockdown. So we never designed ourselves that you know if there will be lockdown, or what alternative care. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's a it's a bad shape to be in. But but you know in in the end, I have the whole hope that you know we all the people has built this. The 24 into 7 businesses, supply chains, fun, travel, you know, yes, our aspiration as a humankind, so it will take time, but it will come back. It is, it depends the necessity of a demand. For me, the whole essential services and non discretionary spends, you know, will come very fast. Or oh, suppose, so you, you you run a school, right? It has to be there, right? You will find your way to 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 start and you know again to be maybe eighty percent level and ninety percent level for both, for you also and for the children also, right? So like for essential services like provision store, बहुत जल्दी बन जाएगा, right? Uh, taxis बहुत जल्दी चल हो जाएंगी, truck बहुत जल्दी आ जाएंगी. So there there would be lot of sector which will be up and run maybe in next two weeks. But there would be some sector which might require some continuity, might require again uh, again that trust to be built in system that you will make it tomorrow, I will make it tomorrow, that might take two months. But a lot of discretionary things like travel, the mall spending, the luxury, uh, luxury lifestyle might take six months. But I think in, in, in next, maybe in the next uh, six to nine months, if we can able to figure out the COVID-19 fear, you know, that there are so many people who will not go away, some people can be infected, some people can be admitted, the percentage would be very less. If we have changed that fear, in this, so I hope that in the next 9 to 12 months, we will be up and run. And of course, now the government is giving so much of money, so much of purpose, so much of intent. Uh, and if they can execute uh, maybe fifty percent of that also. I hope we can recover <laughs> ninety to get nine to twelve months, right? Uh, I hope we remain. This all discussion remains confidential. Oh, no, right? Absolutely, it absolutely. It's on Facebook. No, Sanjay, just tell me. Today, the finance minister came up with a lot of measures, especially for MSME and uh, you know providing guarantees. How good is it? And do you think it is actually will help? Uh, you know, a lot of corporates get uh, through this lockdown problems. Yeah, so I haven't read the whole detailed uh, uh, outcome of that press conference, mm -hmm. but I just read uh, that, you know, they, they have said the bank will give 20% of the, the existing facility. Mm -hmm. The top up will be done by 20% to MSMEs and the guarantee is done by the government. Yes. So that is fabulous, honestly. So if I had a book of around 20,000 crores mm -hmm. on first of uh, March, you know, that was uh, non-default. Mm -hmm. And if the government is asking me to give 5,000 crores on them, right? Mm -hmm. And then guaranteed by, by RBI uh, government and money has been given by RBI. Mm -hmm. So it, it, is a, it is a fabulous approach, you know, because then for me also, I know my customer is good enough. 
and I can assess him. If I have a little doubt, I will say, boss, because the government is standing behind me, mm. I can still lend him, right? Mm. So I think the model they the, the model which they gave us is I think is highly highly executable. So and and I think all the all the things you know which RBI came very strongly on moratorium. The liquidity facility to banks, refinance facilities. So, banana is very dear. Now, slowly, slowly, the lockdown will be closed, sir. You know, people said that RBI got no money. Correct. So, sir, how was the demand? It was not. So, but as as soon as this 18th uh, of May, when lockdown four comes, and they say that, sir, you have to do business, do business, do business. What is the place? 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 So, so I think So I think you know. Then if demand comes back, and we have liquidity, and we have a guarantee in place, so every bank will lend them. So I think the uh, the only medium to help MSME SME is only lending. Yeah, what can the government? So, uh, do you think among this whole private uh, जो space है, इसमें से PSU banks को फायदा रहेगा, private banks को फायदा रहेगा, insurance companies, NBFC या सबको कुछ कुछ ना कुछ फायदा मिलेगा? No, I think कुछ एक outperform. हाँ, outperform. Outperform word is first, you know, I may be sounding in conflict of interest, but will go to the private banks. Private banks. Because they are highly efficient. Hmm. And if you give them money and guarantee both, hmm. they will be the first to deliver. First, you know, PSU banks, of course, they always always have an agenda to have that support level, but execution is always a challenge, right? Hmm. So NBFC is little bit more pricey. You don't regulate them, so I don't think how they will uh, they will help. They will only help once bank don't help. Hmm. So I don't take insurance, of course. In this difficult time, you know, insurance generally don't lend. वो तो आपसे पैसा ले लेते हैं और तो I don't think insurance can outperform. Also, सजे you know like अभी lot of companies have given moratoriums to clients और अभी lockdown कई जगह it will get you know relax some places not get relaxed. So do you think that this moratorium is uh, will it change uh, things for banks? Will there be more NPAs? Again, Wapis, we are getting back to this huge NPA cycle. Or do you think that you know once this lockdown is released, people will come back and they'll start paying? So I'll give you my data, huh. right? Hmm. So uh, moratorium, first of all, is the is the good tool available with the customer because if you have shut down the entire economic activity. And you haven't even given him a, a choice to have or space to really build his uh, contingencies. You know how will he repay you, right? So I think moratorium in in that aspect is is amazing tool available for customer to not to become default or defaulter and also to preserve cash if he have for his future business, right? So. That is one thing, and that doesn't mean that somebody who takes a moratorium is a bad guy, because because by the, the the moratorium has been given to the person who was who was current who didn't have a default on first of March. So largely, if he has not paid in the month of March or April, is because of lockdown. So we always see as a banker that whether his intention is high or wrong. So his intention is right. Hmm. So I would say that if a customer taking moratorium is not a bad customer, first of all, right? Second, of course, it's not because of moratorium he will default. Hmm. If he not able to build his business again, hmm. because before the moratorium or before the lockdown he was perfectly fine. Right. But now, suppose for example, you are you are running a restaurant hmm. uh, at 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 uh, some hotel, right? And suddenly there is nobody for next six to nine months now, so you can't say that you know that customer has defaulted because of moratorium. So I don't think that because of moratorium people will default. It is because people won't able to start their business again. And for that, government has said said that you know give them twenty percent, help them to manage this transition, support them for next twelve months, and then bring your money back, right? 
So I think the whole story can be stitched well if banker and a customer can work together as a unit. Okay. So uh, also, you know, uh, uh, Sanjay, now a of late, a big mutual fund had stopped, uh, uh, you know, uh, stopped their debt market schemes. As a result of it, a lot of investors' money was frozen. Do you think like, uh, you know, MSMEs and smaller companies will find it difficult to raise money or you think the FM today has addressed that issue that, okay, uh, banks will lend, we will give some guarantee. So, so, you know, my take on the subject is this that, you know, AMC uh, doing debt paper, hmm. right, or, or raising money to on a debt paper was an attempt from 2007 onwards to create an alternative to banking system. You know, and that, that was a new uh, approach. So people actually uh, misunderstand over the years that, you know, the EMC only take equity risk. They also take debt risk, right? Correct. But, and I actually advocated a lot of people that if you don't want to take any risk, so if you don't want to take an asset risk, so you have to go for an enterprise risk. So enterprise risk is a bank. So in, in once you deposit money in the bank, you're not taking any asset risk. Osata bank khudi dub jaye, to osata paisa nahi mile aapko. Lekin bank ki koi asset dub jati hai, to aapka paisa nahi rukta hai, right? But on AMC, because there is a risk on the asset, so I think people don't know and then whole issue came and of course, uh, Franklin Templeton actually got one notch down and said ki boss, mein to Triple BB Lunga, because he was a bank, actually. But suppose that's a liquidity ka shikar ho gaya, baat ho but, but I don't think ki ek do AMC ke alawa, jo NBFC is, because NBFC bhi teen cha uh, label ki hai. One which, is, which comes under triple A, double A, you know, one from A ka ki jo which comes under single A, you know, or A minus, A ka ki jo triple B hai, correct? Right? So, a lot of uh, AMCs don't fund to triple B kind of or maybe A minus kind of entities. Those mm -hmm. entities ko paisa do teen AMC ne diya tha, and mm -hmm. because of this issue around Franklin mm -hmm. and illiquidity, I think uh, that firms won't give any money to them. So those companies have to go to the bank or maybe some other instrument mm -hmm. to raise money. Otherwise, triple A, double A, will continue getting money from AMCs and banks. So Sanjay now is, you know, the lockdown is probably getting uh, relaxed in some places. How will life be after lockdown? You know, what are the kind of changes that you think will come in to us as a country or maybe the, you know, to us as a sector? What are the, how are you viewing this whole lockdown and after? So I think it's complete reset. Uh, you know, it's like ki, you know, in cricket, hum sab bolte the, yaar, aaj to dhul gaya sab kuch. We have to start our inning tomorrow with fresh. So humko, we have to take fresh guard. To, uh, yesterday was yesterday, right? You know, there's a new ball, new day. Uh, and whether I score 100 run a day, day before, it doesn't matter. I can get out on first ball today also, right? So I think uh, it's like that situation. Every businessman has to take very fresh guard. You know, he has to build again to the core that was, uh, I don't know about the environment. I don't know about anything. You know, I have to be really cautious about myself and my inning. And I have to spend two spend hours to get comfort and then build on. So he can't take that comfort. He, he has a lot of net worth. He has a lot of run in the bank, you know. so. So he has to believe that he's very, very fresh in the inning mm -hmm. and, and he has to build with all that caution. Of course, I, I, I only have one civil lining here that there is a lot of other opportunity because money will chase you now. There will be a lot of liquidity coming in the system and I think a lot of people will have more purpose. The world has was become too competitive. Yes. So I think this 40-45 days, this thing has made people humble. So we will understand the need of So I personally believe that people might have very different behavior towards each other. 
कि जैसे हम लोग पहले पैसा मांगने में जैसे मैंने लोगों को पैसा नहीं देते थे करेक्ट तो आई थिंक देर विल बी न्यू नॉर्म्स अराउंड ह्यूमन बिहेवियर विच विल इनेबल डूइंग बिजनेस मोर कामर एंड मोर इजियर यू नो so that's my i'm i'm really watching that space the how people start doing business once they are back from lockdown so you, you know sanjay ye pura this whole work to home kind of initiative that lot of companies are taking uh, do you think that banks will also adopt it in a big way and how are you viewing this whole work to home scene also what do you think will be the impact say on real estate on salaries on travel will it affect costs of companies uh so i i would say that you know that transition started once we started seeing lot of fintech e-commerce you know companies like flipkart amazon you know so maybe a lot of fintechs so they have actually have started delivering services or goods at your home so the real estate if you go to us mai 5 saal pehle gaya tha to wahan bolte the real estate ka matlab hi nahi hai us mein because nobody want to visit yet at showrooms and all those places mm-hmm. so i would say a commercial real estate mm-hmm. a very ordinary commercial real estate would be an issue you know mm-hmm. so aap bolenge ki maine ek bahut bada commercial place bana diya and people might come and want to take offices on big big offices and rent uh, apart from four or five big cities it will be a big issue uh, but as a bank you know bank already has moved on to uh, technology way back you know we have cbs in place core banking in place we have internet banking in place mobile banking in place uh, nowadays you do you can do rtgs you can do lot of things from your own home so the customer actually don't want to come to branch and do all this stuff right and it will improve from here yes of course in terms of loans uh, uh, i think lot of things we have learned in the last 40 45 days to interact customer on zoom or maybe on teams you know life sizes so generally we were calling customer to our office to interact mm-hmm. now like i am interacting with you you know i can interact with you your accountant your whole senior team and figure out your whole profile to lend you so i think there would be a change uh, but it has to be adopted and executed so i think that is to be seen but yes there a lot of possibility that uh, we can actually do lot of things on our own comfort rather than meeting both person meeting in office right so that practice might get reduced also sanjay customers coming to banks do you think all that would also change in a way or customer actually you people don't visit cust banks correct so your your maybe an accountant or your bearer is going to bank right so that will continue honestly because sometimes anxiety sometimes you also want to do a job a uh, very you know on a last minute so and you don't want to waste your time on it, internet or internet banking so otherwise i am not seeing lot of people coming and saying ki boss mujhe loan chahiye ya mere ko ye karna hai ya wo karna hai to you just call us on the phone ki how you can do from you know distant also so i think that will continue honestly and that will actually increase in my opinion now okay uh forum i give the floor back to you in case there are any question and answers by uh, other people and uh, thank you sanjay i think it has been really really nice of you to answer each and every question so patiently i just had one more question on cricket yeah you, <laughs> you said test cricket right so yes. how did you manage to get such a good team because ah. test cricket means good team right one day or two days may you can still play sanjay is doing very well but test cricket means good team so i think you are asking me my secret sauce but uh, <laughs> uh, if you are playing in a team game you know if because uh, whether you play hockey whether you play football or they play cricket so you need a team right without team you you, you are as good as your team right okay. so so over the year i think cricket really helped me that you know uh, you need to know who's your bowler who's your batsman you know who can be on third man who can be on final leg who can be on slip you know who can be strategy who can play attack so i think you actually figured out uh, in your as in your cricketing days that you know everybody has his own ability and, and like you know somebody spins somebody bowl fast somebody want to play one down somebody want to open somebody is wicket keeper so 
it looks very similar outside in the pavilion that we are all 11 but we are so different on the field right so that's the corporate also so some corporates actually misread this they they think that you know everybody has the same capability and capacity but because we are all having good suited ami baithte hain angrezi mein baat karte hain but you need to figure out ki kiska kya ability hai who is suiting what and if you give that job to him he will do perfect perfectly right so that is what i have done over the years you know i have figured out what are the strengths of my team and just give him that work thank you thank you sir what's your captain for sure your captain for sure so abhi tak sir abhi tak selector has given me that opportunity ki you remain captain but it depends on selector <laughs> depends on selector <laughs> yeah for go ahead thank you so much sir uh there are now a few questions that we have on our zoom chat that our guest would like to know the first question sir here is what are the fd rates that au bank offers oh <laughs> how much amount do you have my friend how much amount do you have so i can now also <laughs> so on a, on a, we have the fixed rate of around 7.5 for individual up to 2 crore and if you are a senior citizen then we offer you 0.5 extra and i think this comes in the bracket of 2 to 3 year okay thank you so much sir the next question here is does that's a peak rate that's a peak rate usse upar jayenge tenure badhayenge to kam ho sakti hai pehle denge to aur kam ho sakti hai but depends you know peak rate okay sir thank you the next question here is despite rbi pressure banks are very comfortable in lending how do you it off take in the next 6 months and what is your view on the interest rates yeah so second question first i believe interest rate will go down uh, south end from here right because if you are really want to help the economy up and run you know you can't afford to lend around 15 16% right and for good people like you know triple a entity you know those guys are also getting around 9% so i believe there is a possibility that interest rate might go maybe 100 basis point 150 basis point in next 12 months and of course uh, after 24 month it again start rising but uh, i think every businessman every self employed you know should be happy that uh, he would be getting uh, money at cheaper rates and of course uh, banks uh, so the question is the rbi is pressuring sorry uh, despite rbi pressure banks are very comfortable in lending Sorry, so the, the, what they're probably trying to say is that all this liquidity is with the banks, uh, yeah. with the RBI. So why are they not uh, lending? No, no, no. So I would say last forty five days, uh, as I told you, I have money, but there is no customer. Honestly, customer is just inquiring us whether you will lend us or not. Once the lockdown is gets over. so we always say it was give us paper we show us a business why you need money is it an anxiety money is it just a inquiry you know so i would i would see lot of credit flowing in next 6 to 9 month based on your credibility based on your balance sheet based on your business cycle so <laughs> bowler is not throwing the ball he's just uh, going it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The next question here is: How do you manage the NPA risk management mechanism? No, I think uh, uh, generally what happened in India last ten, twelve years, the credit compliance has gone to the next level. You know, uh, I have seen uh, in '95 to 2003, four era where there was no civil, there was no credit uh, compliance around people through administration and, and anything actually. लोग लोन लेते थे डिफॉल्ट करने के लिए बट आई थिंक पोस्ट 2007 थाउजेंड सेवन क्राइसिस यू नो एक्चुअली द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ क्रेडिट कंप्लायस इमर्ज बिकॉज यदि पैसा ही नहीं होगा तो कैसी इकोनॉमी चलेगी सो आई थिंक द सिविल ने जो कमाल का काम किया वो ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बिकॉज नाउ एवरीबडी इज बैक देयर सो आपका नाम लिखा सौरभ मोदी एंड वी फिगर आउट किया अरे इन्होंने तो दो हजार तीन में क्रेडिट कार्ड का डिफॉल्ट किया था मेरा ही नाम मिला गया <laughs> so suddenly we don't want to give him money right so i think the information is so so on table 
you you can google people's name sir aap naam dalo and you will figure out ki whether he has some case against him so i think lot of information is available before credit lot of data is available before credit so it's very informed call nowadays that is why the npa has gone down if you are talking about npa of uh, the the uh, psu banks or maybe some large private sector bank it is only in corporate loan and honestly i don't want to hold those corporates to default there may be some bad fish uh, of 10 12 15 20 people largely because after 2012 13 our economy never performed we had a issue around 2g we have issue around coal we had issue around power lot of investment actually was invest done because on the basis of some licensing and they all get cancelled so i think i would i would actually be with the industrialist or businessmen that you know unke intention hote hain but they defaulted so but we have to take that as a normal course of business rather than a defaulter or a or a fraud or all those things you know so otherwise indian credit culture has gone up Thank you so much sir the next question is what is the problem with banks in giving attractive interest rates on saving banks account and fds oh no 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 uh, i'm there na i'm giving you 7% on your saving account and 7.5 on fd what do you want <laughs> So generally, you know, if you want a, sorry, 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 if you really want a interest rate regime on the lower side, the deposit has to be more lower. So if you want money at seven percent for business, the bank has to get money at four percent. So you know, banking is very simple. आपका पैसा आप ही को आता है. Yeah, fair enough. Point. Yeah, for. Yes, sir. The next question here is: What advantages do we have over big MNC banks? We we being a SFB. So, कल तो बताया local को local क्या है local को local. Your prime minister, our prime minister has support want support for local for local. So, हम SFB है. We are Indian bank. we are getting indian money for indian money to the indians so that's the biggest advantage uh, we can relate we can talk we can understand we won't run away you know so, so sanjay just a follow up from that question do you think there is a lot of customer loyalty that once they have a deposit with a particular bank they tend to stay with that bank for a longer period of time uh, rather than shift here shift there or are you seeing people Shift here, shift there. Earlier, you know, we used to do banking with one bank. Is that happening now? No, a very good question. So it's not about loyalty; it's about laziness. Because look, for me, you are important. But for you, I am not important. Unless until you take loan, a bank is immaterial in life. Because you think that five percent SBI is giving, four percent SBI is giving, Sanjay SBI. Sat percent de raha hai. How it makes my life so different? So it's more about sometimes laziness, sometimes comfort, sometimes why to challenge yourself to change the bank? Unless if you go bank, very bad work is being done, then you have to change it. So that is why uh, to raise deposit for new bank is not easy. Hum jab bhi jayenge aapke paas, you would have relationship with SBIs or maybe HDFCs and maybe Axis. It's difficult to break you from there. so that is why every new bank struggle to for first 5 10 years to raise money but once they settle down uh, they are there for eternity you know fir wo hamesha ke liye zinda reh sakte hain so that's the path you want to take thank you so much sir the next question is your favorite bank other than the au bank oh <laughs> always always is bank always I I I I actually owe my bank to HDFC, so uh, it's, it's wow. amazing to be you know uh, to be under that umbrella of uh, big boy. Thank yes. you, sir. Yes. The next question here is: With so much liquidity coming in the post-COVID scenario, as per government's push, do you see demand-supply imbalance coming in, especially for the current financial year? Uh, so I would say this year. 
करंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर वी हैव टू बी लिटिल पेशेंट कि भैया थोड़ा बनेगा 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 बट बट आई थिंक 9 10 12 मंथ टू रीबिल्ड इज नॉट अ राइट फ्रेमवर्क यू नो वी ऑल हैव टू थिंक फॉर नेक्स्ट 3 इयर्स द प्लान फॉर any businessman has to be now minimum 3 year you know uh, is that way so i would say your demand will come but for example, <laughs> six months somebody it might take two years somebody it might take three years so the whole liquidity and the whole bank support should be planned in a way that you know you commit like this you boss mera demand kab aayega aur mera supply kab hoga right so and that's that's the overall framework i really want to tell every businessman because plan for 3 years thank you sir next question coming in is how are you managing to give 7% on savings despite the reverse repo at 3.75 and repo at 4.40 debt yield is at 5.82 and 91 dtb at 3.50 ah <laughs> amazing question एक बार तो ये पूछ रहे हो कि दे दोगे कितना इतना देने का सो यू नो एज आई टोल्ड यू एवरी बैंक हैज टू फिगर आउट हिज हिज कस्टमर बेस सो वी फिगर आउट कि आर स्टोरी इज लाइक रॉबिन हुड गिव मोर फ्रॉम टू दी एच एन आईज टू वेल टू डू गाइज टू कीप मनी एट लोअर रेट विथ एस बी आईज एंड एच डी एफ सी Uh, we'll give them better rates better service but there are a lot of people who don't get money from those banks so like like the taxi walas like msmes smes or they might be getting money but too late so i think our usp is to take money from established player and give it to the non established player so that's our business model and that player which want to take money they take money at around 13 14% so we are actually giving you from that kitty generally hdc bank will take money at 4 5 would land at 10 11 i would take at 6 7 i would land at 12 13 so this is the business model so forum i think now we are running out of time so yes, we uh, if if it's okay with sanjay maybe one last question uh, is that uh, is her and then you know is, yeah for one last question yes sir just a moment Okay, so the last question from one of our one of our guests is that why is there such a steep in the stock price of AU Bank? Why why uh, the stock price came down, right? Yes, yes, sir. So, so you have to tell me why my stock price gone up. I you know for a I think that's quite a personal question. So no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It should be answered. So I don't know why it went up because how come you justify a new bank? Which they haven't even performed at a highest level. Neither has been proven track record, and and some stock player because which is the open economy, get my stock to one of the most expensive bank of the world. So and those guys when the honeymoon period is over, they want to make you the real estate. So in my opinion, my share price as of now is real real estate rather than that price. i can answer i am i allowed to answer yes, <laughs> your your question was uh, how how did my price go up and how did i become the most expensive bank in the world coach ko net pe coach ko coach or selector ko net pe dikh jata tha virat no no i think it was crazy times uh, you know so but don't worry you know au is in very good shape so keep trusting us keep supporting us thank you definitely sir जैसे पूरे कंट्री की उम्मीद विराट पे टिकी है सारे कंट्री की फाइनेंशियल सर्विस की उम्मीद तेरे पे टिकी है आपके सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर विवेक यू टू फाइनल थैंक यू सो संजय यू नो थैंक यू सो मच आई थिंक इट्स बीन रियली गुड टू हैव अ फ्रैंक ऑनेस्ट टॉक यू नो आई थिंक इट्स स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द हार्ट लॉट ऑफ पीपल डोंट गेट एन इनसाइट ऑफ व्हाट इट इज लाइक टू बी अ फर्स्ट जनरेशन एंटरप्रेन्योर what are the challenges that one faces and uh, really you know what is the real situation so yeah. you know you've told us something which is practical and which is straight from the heart so thank you so much for sharing this with us 
and we'll definitely keep all those learnings including cricket with us yeah yeah thank you i hope uh, i made at some justice to your time no 100% thank you so much thank you, thank so you much. sanjay thank you boss thank you sir thank, so thank you for joining us thank, thank you thank you vivek thank you thank you sir thank you for thank you sir hmm